Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and this episode is going to be very special because in this video I'm going to continue uh, my series about how to unhide a text painted with different colors, etc, etc. So in this video I'm gonna share with you some of my tips how we can unhide painted text, uh, for example, text of some messages that were sent you from some social media application or maybe some messenger. And if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Don't forget to hit the bell button to get notifications about my new videos. Like and also subscribe to the channel. Let's go. So now again, this video is going to be about some of the uh, messages that might be sent you or for example, you got some photo of some chatting in some social media messenger, etc, etc. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can unhide this kind of uh, text or photo, etc, etc, especially, uh, especially to this episode, if you see that this text painted with different colors simultaneously. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a white text painted with black and light green color. So let's go. So now we're going to use Snapseed application. As I said in my almost all of them, uh, previous videos, Snapseed is absolutely free application from Google. It's basically photo editor, pretty simple and amazing. That's why I'm going to use it. Let's go inside. Here you will see this plus sign, we are going to press on it and choose photo that you're interested in and you want to uncover. So, as you can see, we have here some white text painted with black and, as I said, green or light green color. Now we're going to go into our tools, tune to image and press on the sign. And now what we're going to do. So basically, first of all, I suggest you starting from one uh, color and to move to another one because I really doubt that we will be able to uncover all of them considering that black and green colors are very different and I think you'll agree with me. So now I suggest starting from black color, the first one, and we're gonna start. So brightness is going to be, I guess, uh, m more. So as I said in some of my previous videos, I suggest uh, next, if white text painted with dark, any actually color, especially black, brightness is going to go up because we want to, I would say, uh, make white text and black, blackish color uh, equally, uh, I would say, highlighted. So now let's go to our next is going to be contrast. So contrast is going to be down just because we don't want this black color to be so much contrast that we can see uh, white text on that. So our mission here is to just, uh, I would say, make them equally highlighted in order to see black and white text uh, separately in order to be able to read it. So next is going to be saturation. I think that saturation is going to be up just because we want to saturate our white text in order to be able to see it from the black text. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty hard to do already, so, uh, but we are going to continue anyway. So next are going to be ambience and highlight. So I in here, I suggest you to increase them to the maximum because we want to start seeing our white text finally, actually. And as you can see, we finally can see some letters and some numbers and signs, whatever you will uh, see on your photo, etc, etc. And next, in the last, I think, is going to be shadows. So shadows, I think here we're going to increase it just a little bit because we, we don't want to go into maximum, as you can see. This really, uh, I would say, disrupts the whole picture. So we're going to increase it just a little bit in order to see the text. And as you can see, I already can read the text and see the numbers and the signs, etc, etc. So this method works absolutely great. But as you can see, while we decipher this or unhide this white text, we can see the white text painted with green color because it's absolutely different story. And now we're going to work with this one. So let's go into uh, brightness, our first parameter, and we're going to alter it or adjust it just a little bit. So as you can see, in the previous one was black and it was dark, but green is actually light. So now brightness is going to be down in order to make our uh, green color less light 
and in order to highlight our white text on this white color. So if this makes sense. So next is going to be contrast. So as you can see, contrast wore, uh, was minus 100. And now I think uh, this is going to be a plus 100 just because we want to, again, uh, contrast our white text on the matter of this white uh, on the matter of this white uh, text. Okay, and next is going to be saturation. So saturation, I think, maybe even more, just because we want to highlight our text even better. Okay, maybe let's just go to the brightness and maybe decrease it a little bit, just to in case. Okay, what if we are going to do maybe around 70? Okay, so as you can see, we can see the text pretty clearly okay we're going to continue working uh, so next are going to be ambience and highlights again i think this also should be in plus section but we're going to decrease it just a little bit so uh ambience i guess is around maybe 30 okay yeah 30 it's going to be great highlights are going to be maybe have decreased it maybe this is going to be better okay let's do like this and let's go to the shadows so shadows will make all the difference and let's decrease it in order to start seeing at least some letters because as you can see uh white text painted with light colors is pretty hard to unhide and this is our final result we're gonna see what we're looking for and as you can see i can see the structure of the letters in the sentences i actually can clearly see the text comment below if you can see the text too this will be pretty helpful but as you can see not all the letters are clearly uh, can be seen etc etc but uh, again i wanted to mention some aspects that might influence your uh, again quality of your result is the quality of your pictures or images and how many layers of paint were uh, painted above your text and considering all these aspects you might even predict your result and so i hope that this video was really helpful for you if you enjoyed watching it please don't forget to like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get notifications to my new videos